We need to talk. <sighs> right. So, things are changing. And if you're planning on traveling to Japan anytime soon, this video might be very important. I've traveled to Japan many times and things are about to change. Previously traveling in the Shinkansen using a Japan Rail Pass was actually quite easy and it still is, don't get me wrong, it still is going to be easy to travel in the Shinkansen. There's only one thing, just one catch, one thing that might change the way that you travel in the Shinkansen. And that is paying for oversized luggage. Now, previously, you didn't have to pay for oversized luggage. You could just turn up at a, at, a, at a Shinkansen with your luggage and no problems. You'd find a place to, to put it. You, some people were a bit crazy. They put it in the middle of the aisle. There's um, been an increase of tourists traveling to, to Japan. There's been an increase of really rude tourists traveling to Japan, maybe. And um, luggage can be a problem. I need to put on my rather dirty glasses or else I can't see anything. All right, slightly cleaner glasses now. So, as from the 20th of May, and that was actually yesterday for me in my, my time zone, things have changed. You need to measure your suitcase um, and you need to reserve a um, luggage space for your suitcase if you're going to the Shinkansen. Although, not all suitcases are going to need this special reservation. Let me explain. So, if you're going to be traveling on the Tokaido, Sanyo or the Kyushu lines, basically any lines spanning from Tokyo all the way to the south of Kyushu, on the Shinkansen, then you need to know this special rule or you might be caught out and you might either not be allowed on the train or get a fine. You're going to be required to make reservations for oversized luggage. Now, what exactly is an oversized luggage, you might ask? And that's a very good question because it took me a little bit of time to figure out what on earth the dimensions that we're talking about actually meant. So let me explain for you. JR is defining oversized luggage by any luggage that is over 160 centimeters. It's an 160 centimeters combined width, length and depth. So you need to get a tape measure out. You need to measure out your suitcase length, add it to the width and add it to the depth. And if it comes up to 160 centimeters or more, then it will be counted as oversized luggage and you will need a reservation or get a, a fine, perhaps. Now, JR is actually gonna be installing frames like where you can actually put your luggage in to check that it fits. But my advice to you is that you, if you're gonna be traveling to Japan, then get the right luggage before you go to Japan because the last thing you want is to get to Japan and have some luggage issues. I measured my suitcase and the length was 76 centimeters, more or less. The width was 54 centimeters, more or less. And then the depth was approximately 29 centimeters. And adding all that up, it came to 159 centimeters, maybe 160 centimeters, which is basically on the cusp of um, being allowed on the Shinkansen without a reservation and I probably wouldn't want to risk it with this with this suitcase so I'm gonna to have to rethink things and um, quite a standard suitcase it's um, served me very well and I'm going to miss him but maybe it's time that I think of getting a slightly smaller suitcase so there's also an actual limit to how big your bag can be to um, actually carry it on the Shinkansen and it's anything over 250 centimeters will not be allowed on. You might be told 
that you cannot actually carry it onto the Shinkansen. So be aware of that, anything 250 centimeters or more, that's 251 centimeters, won't be allowed on, 252 centimeters, won't be allowed on, etc, etc. So you need to be aware, aware of that if you're traveling with um, something big. But some good news is that sports equipment, um, like children's baggies and um, instruments, they are fine. There's no problems with those. There's no extra fees. You don't need to measure them. So that's a good thing. So if you're planning on coming to Japan with a double base, then great for you. If you do forget to pay the extra fee, or for whatever reason you decide that you want to be sneaky and get it onto the Shinkansen without paying for the extra fee and they do catch you then two things could happen you might have to pay 1000 yen on the spot or you might actually be told to to um, to get off the Shinkansen so it's always best to plan ahead so previously one of the great things about using a JR pass is the fact that um, you could pretty much just turn up at a train and use it and go wherever you you need to go without much hassle without thinking about things too much if you miss a train you could just go on to the next one i think that the biggest change now is that you're gonna have to be a little bit better planned you're gonna have to plan ahead a little bit more you're gonna have to reserve your your seat with the luggage so that you can actually get on board without any problems Shinkansens actually have some special seats at the very back of the Shinkansen with a space where in the past I've put my luggage and that has always been very very valuable because it's basically why I've always um, sort of queued up for 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes before Shinkansen comes so that I can get that space, put my suitcase there without any, any problems. And in the past, um, I can tell you that I've put my suitcase and after an hour, a two hour trip, I've uh, found my suitcase buried at the bottom of a pile of other travelers' suitcases and it's been a struggle and a real stress to pull my suitcase out from underneath to make it in time to deboard the train. So, these things should be problems from the past. We should no longer have those issues. If your suitcase is actually not big enough to have to pay that extra 1,000 yen fee, then there's always space at the over your seat. So just be aware that you will have to um, put your suitcase up yourself. So if it's too heavy, then just be aware. Okay. <laughs> so what are the alternative options to traveling with a suitcase on a Shinkansen? And I can tell you that that is luggage forwarding. Takuhaibin, as it said in Japanese, is very convenient service. I've used it many times, especially on those super long trips. And many times in most hotels, you can actually leave your luggage at the lobby, pay a fee, and they will forward it to the next hotel hassle-free and not only is it convenient but it's a really good option especially for those long train rides and uh, where you don't have to worry about your luggage and all you need to carry with you is your day bag and you're sorted because you know that when you arrive at your hotel your bag will be waiting for you another option is coin lockers most train stations in Japan and bus stations in Japan have coin lockers don't underestimate the value of leaving your luggage in a coin locker for the day whilst you go out exploring different areas but be aware that some of these stations have limits on how long you can actually keep your luggage in a coin locker so to summarize things have changed you're going to need to reserve your luggage space if you're traveling with a piece of luggage that's over 160 centimeters in combined um, dimensions so that might mean that you might have to do that extra little bit of planning to make sure that everything goes according to plan on a positive this should also mean a less stressful trip at the end of the day remember not to get caught out plan ahead so some final thoughts why don't Shinkansen's have areas for luggage proper areas for luggage 
I might be wrong, they might actually be retrofitting these spaces in Shinkansen's as I speak. And if they are, please let me know. Just a little video talking about luggage, traveling in Japan and how things are changing. My understanding is that if you do have a JR Pass, the um, fee for reserving luggage is actually free and you only have to pay if you forget to reserve. The luggage is actually included in a seat reservation so you will need to reserve a seat and they will give you the seats at the back of the Shinkansen where you can place your luggage along with yourself. Any questions about traveling via Shinkansen, traveling in Japan through local train, expresses etc. please let me know, I'll try to answer them. I've been in so many, so many um, trains in Japan that I think I've had quite a few experiences and I might be able to help. If you enjoyed this video and you've watched to the end, thank you very much. Give this a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. If you have any comments, leave them below. And if you're new to this channel, then welcome. My name is Nathan. I live in Gibraltar, but I travel in Japan a lot. Please check out some of my other videos and say hello in those comments. Till then, don't forget to subscribe. See you. Bye. Thank you.